I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Shante Moore talks about the challenges of being married while celebrating her second anniversary. It was on uh, the first in somewhere in Dallas and the person who was bringing me canceled the uh, show. I think he didn't have things prepared. So, but I will be in Milwaukee on the 2nd of November. So, so far that's all I'm going to talk about right now. So, can I come back to ATL? I am coming to ATL to sing. Um, there's a single out already with me and Eric Bennett. Well, it's available to you. Um, um, with Eric Bennett and I, it's called um, So Distracted. And, um, and I love that song. I really do love it. I really would love it if you guys would uh, check it out. He is... Uh, <laughs> He is a he has an album of duets. I see my son KJ Lattimore. How are you, my darling? Mama loves you so much. Um, so I'm you have it. Thank you, Suzette Lewis. Thank you very much for that. So distracted. I'll see. I'll see y'all. I'll see you. I'll see you like it. Um, um, another song with Keith Washington right now? No. Um, I got my song with uh, <laughs> with Eric Bennett. And, um, yes, I've been happy. I've been tired, but I've been super happy. Um, just adjusting to um, going back and forth has been a lot. Um, it's been fun, but it's, you know, jet lag is for real. It's for real. I never had jet lag like, like this before. But I'm here. I'm settled. I'm working on a new record in there with Lainey Stewart. Tricky. Um, got a song with Babyface. Uh, I got a song with, uh, um, who else is it in there? Uh, Rodney Jerkins, believe it or not. Isn't that awesome? I love how life goes around. How is a poor connection in my house? Don't make no sense. What'd you say? Uh, KJ, hey baby. Um, it's been a long time and good to see you. Good to see you too. I am really excited about everything. Married life is good. It's hard work. Work is work. It's work to keep the other person happy and to discuss things and make sure that you're being forthright and open and honest and loving and patient. Love is more than just, you know, let's do it. So, yes, I'm very happy. Um, I love that he is a, a man of integrity and he loves working with me and for me and on me. So, you know, those are good things. Thank you. Yes, my anniversary just passed. It was awesome. We really had a good time, actually. Um, and he's going to take me away and just uh, relax for a little while. A little while. Um, somebody sent something. Gave Century City. Oh, the guy from Century City. I did not see your number on that uh, on that phone. I did not see it. So um, I'll go back and look again. I don't know how you're doing. Tell the whole story of China. Ha! Huh. Well, what I will tell you about China first is that um, I sang birth a happy birthday song for um, for my Joey. Um, and you guys know my Joey here. You guys are always on there with me. And um, Joseph. Yeah, I call him Joseph. Anyway, I call him Joey. Anyways, so uh, I sang happy birthday to him, and this lady from China um, was there, and her name is Tay. Uh, she was there, and she asked me uh, about going to China. Before I knew it, I was on the Tom Joyner cruise, chilling, and then she asked me to do the show in China. So that's how fast it happened. One week later, I was in China. One week after finding out about it, I was in China. Um, so it was wonderful. I went to the Great Wall. I just saw that question. Yes, I did. It was really, really amazing. Um, and the show was just, it was live every night, one song every week, but it felt like a million songs a week. <laughs> it was a lot going on. And um, choosing the song and uh, being live uh, and uh, being prepared for the songs, you know, singing somebody else's songs or, or every new song every week is really a lot of responsibility. And I took it very seriously. 
and uh, I will post a couple more, a few more of them. I haven't uh, posted a lot of them. Will I live in China? I don't think I'll live there, but I will be going back for the back and forth. I will do that because um, there's a lot of things that I want to do there, and they're just, uh, I just love, love, love the way they are just, the Chinese people embraced me in such a way that I, I just was surprised and uh, overwhelmed by their kindness and their love towards me. And um, I worked really hard for 13 weeks. Uh, I, it took a lot to get through and over it. And, and I'm on the other side of how um, grueling it was. The schedule was really grueling, even though it seemed like one song a week would be easy. Mm -mm. It was a reality show, basically. So every from Wednesday to Friday, it was live every day, all day, talking. And, you know, talking is not a great thing for doing for singing. So talking all day was a lot. Um, and then performing and the um, the band rehearsal, walking. I just it was just it was a lot. But it was just wonderful. It really was. It was called Singer 2024. And there'll be a new Singer 2025, which will be awesome. And uh, I hope to do some collaborations with the other artists that I met. It was so awesome. Um, they were really amazing. And uh, I met a lot of great people. And so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I will have more conversations about China and music and all the stuff that's happened since then uh, in, um, at, when, in Oakland. This, uh, what is today? Today's Thursday, so tomorrow and uh, Saturday. Two shows. Two shows in two nights. Two shows a night. Um, when was the last time I was in Cali? I am in Cali right now. I am in... Um, Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What you say? Did you gain anything other than just names? I don't know what that means. Um... I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, explain that question. I don't know what you mean. Um, new audience. Everything. Uh, I went to the mall and I, I can go to the mall anywhere in America and I'll see a few people that know me. But in China, I couldn't go many places without being like, hey, oh my God, mall, mall, ah. And they're just so excited and so overwhelming. And I love, love, love the way they're excited about music. That made me really happy. Um, that was a... Uh, you were spoiled by singing every week for us, kind of miss it. You know, uh, my husband keeps telling me to do Music Mondays, so uh, I think I'm going to be... I'll tell you when I'll start uh, Music Mondays, um, because it's uh, it's a real commitment to do it, and I know I don't want to say something and not do it, so <sighs> that's what I'm thinking of doing, because I do miss having the interaction with you guys every week. Um, and it's been fun. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Thank you for the um, <laughs> for the the Soul Train Music Awards. Uh, thank you. Thanks for tuning in to my husband is my best friend.